The question is whether PBNO32, this is lead to nitrate, is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what type of compound we have here with this PBNO32. Lead's a metal, and this NO3, this is the nitrate ion, it's a group of nonmetals. So we have a metal, polyatomic ion, group of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. So if you know your solubility rules, nitrates, compounds with nitrates are very soluble. So when we put this ionic compound in water, this lead to nitrate, it's going to break apart into its ions. We'll get the nitrate ion and the whole nitrate ion is one minus. So we'll get that NO3 minus. And since there's a two here, we'll get two of those. And then for the lead, we don't know the charge since it's a transition metal. But since this is one minus and we have two of them, it has to be two plus. So we'll also get our lead 2 ion, Pb2+. Plus. And these will both be dissolved in water. So let's put a little AQ after them, show that they're dissolved in water. Based on our definition for electrolytes, they dissolve in water, or a polar solvent, and they produce ions. These are ions here. They produced ions. This dissociates completely since it's soluble in water. And as a result of these ions, this solution will conduct electricity. So in answer to our question, PBNO32 led to nitrate, this is an electrolyte, and it's a strong electrolyte because these are all dissociated in the water and they will conduct electricity very well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.